This is the filet of fish McDonald's wish they made. Let's get it. Hey, so you guys come on in, you just saw the money shot. Tell me what you think. These are the ingredients. Look, it looks like a lot, but it's not. And you know what? I'm leveling up mine because I'm gonna be doing the Cajun, you know, tartar sauce, right? So these are my ingredients. And as always, folks, the ingredient list will be down in the description box below. We're gonna cut the cod, right? We're gonna put it in the flour, but I'm gonna season my flour, right? And then we're gonna make ourselves a, a, a wet batter mix and that's gonna be in this one right here. Now. For me, I like to raise it up. Since we're gonna go ahead and go with a Cajun, you know, tartar sauce, I'm gonna go with that Sweet Smoky Joe, that Creole Kick. You know this is my go-to, folks. Hey, if you don't have none, you gotta pick some up like yesterday. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little seasoning in here. I'm gonna hit mine with a little bit of this black, you know, pepper. Always, folks. I like to see this. And I'm gonna tell you this, if you haven't heard me say this before, I'm gonna say it again. You gotta taste the flour. That's what it is. You, you just got to taste it. Just give it a couple of pinches, right? Get your whisk and just go ahead and whisk it. And the reason I got so much, you know, dry flour right here, I'm going to tell you, because listen, I save it. You remember what grandmama did? You put it in the bag, you save it. You just put the uh, label on it, what you put in there, and you go from there. Hey, we keeping it old school, folks. You see that right there? You see how you can see the flakes? Look, that's when it's mixed. That's what you come up with. Now, get yourself your next bowl. Right, because we're getting ready to do our wet. So we start with our flour. And I'm gonna stop right there because listen, we got vegetable vegetable oil, right? So I'm gonna take this. We finna go ahead and put some heat oil in here. You know what I mean? We're gonna start bringing this up. Listen, this is just that quick. Start, put it on medium heat. Start bringing that up to 350 degrees. Now, back over here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna just start dumping these in. And don't forget, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below, right? I don't care what I do, you know what I mean? Just about everything that I'm gonna work with, gonna have a little Creole kick in it, just a little bit. You can use whatever beer you would like. Look, we just making a wet batter, right? So, got this mixed up. Can't really give you the measurement because it's really up to you how much you put, you know, how much flour you're working with, right? So look, I'm gonna just, you know, pour some in here like this. You know, that's enough. Then if you over pour it or whatever, just add some more flour to it. But you just want to get yourself a nice batter. You know what batter should look like. You know what kind of consistency you're looking at. You can see that it's going to obviously need a little bit more. You know? So, we just do it like that. You want it to be a little bit on the thick side because you want it to like coat your fish, right? But you see that right there? Just like making a cake. You almost want that same consistency. And you don't want to get, you know, too many lumps in there, right? You see in a more of a, a reddish color because of the Creole kick. Let me just address this part. I know some of you guys are gonna say, well, I don't drink. Hey, listen, I don't either. But check it out. When you cook this down and you do all that, it doesn't, you don't taste the beer in here at all. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not a beer drinker, nor do I like to taste the beer. But I love beer batter fish though. Take a look at that consistency right there. That's what I like, folks. That there, that's perfect. Now remember, we multitasking, right? So I'm bringing my oil up to temp. I just checked this right now with my thermometer and we right. This was right now at about somewhere right around 3.30. It was rising just a little bit. I'm gonna let that continue. But we got our stations together, right? We got dry and we got wet. Now I'm gonna just set this over here. Put this off to the side. Let's go ahead and just take this cod, bring this over here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a cut, right? It's up to you. You can see the cod wasn't as big as I would like it had, had been. You know what I mean? So if you take this, I'll just leave this on top. You can see the size, right? But that's kind of like the thinner part. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a cut here, right? And we just go with it about right here. That's fine. That right there is a nice piece. This right here, look, you can see the thickness of it. Look, I like that. So we'll just clean this up here, move that over there, and then I'll probably take another piece and go right here. So to be honest with you, I'm gonna take all three of these and make them. Right, and then we just gonna batter these up just for the heck of it and hit it with that tartar sauce and we are gonna enjoy that too. This is what we gonna do. I'm gonna start by taking this piece right here. Right, first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna go into the flour, right? This is cool right here. Just wanna get some. Be careful with fish, it, it is, you can shake it and it'll come apart. You just wanna go ahead and put it in like that. Shake it, any excess off. And now you wanna just go ahead and get your wet batter. 
right? We just let this go like this. It can be a little, little messy, but don't worry. Now, when you pick it up, get a little bit off as you can, rub it across the, the edge of the bowl. Now, this is what I do. I take it and I kind of like seal it, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then I just lay it down. I just want to show you guys so you guys can see. I let this stay in there for about at 350 degrees. I start off a little bit hotter. You know what I mean? Right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, we was around closer to 370. Put it in there. This was nice and cold, the fish was, and we'll let it cook for about, I'm gonna say about three to four minutes. Really, I cook it and I look at it, I just want it to be golden brown. Take a look at that right there. Look, I just flip it over, you know what I mean? Just so I can get an even coat on it like that. Tell me what you guys think about that. I'm gonna take it like this, right? This one really is for demonstration. You know what I mean? Let me just get it like that. If you guys tell me what you think, that's what we're looking for right there. Hey, that golden brown, that, that right there came out perfect. Now, I'm just gonna take it, strain it over here. You know what I mean? Let's get, get this off. You know what I mean? And then just for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and put a piece of this cheese over here like this. And we'll just leave it alone. Now, I'm gonna do the rest. And as I'm doing that, we're getting ready to go ahead and multitask and go ahead and get our tartar sauce together. I went ahead and hit both of these up, right? And that there is good. Remember I told you shake it, run it on the sides just to get whatever else you can get off, right? Let's do it again because you got to get a grip, right? Now we go back, forth to kind of like seal it. I'm trying to keep it from hitting it straight, you know, on the bottom. And then we just lay it right there. Remember when you release it, you want to release it away from you. Okay, so look, you see how I had the two? You want to make sure that they kind of like stay separated just to like, you know, get get to going. And the reason being, you don't want them to like just, just to fry together and stick, right? So we just take them like this and we just keep flipping them. Real simple. Now, we got our mayo. We got a bowl, uh, bowl right? Take your mayo. Add this to your bowl. I'm gonna say it this way so it don't be so boring. You know what I mean? Uh, this is what, you know, simplifies it to the brain. You take all of the rest of your ingredients, right? And we do a dump and go. Just dump them all in the inside. Boom. Just like this. Right? Now, once we have all of that in there, I don't need this anymore. Then you want to take, you know, some lemon. I like to take my hand and put it like this because it's going to have some seeds. You guys might not be able to see the indentations there, but a lot of the seeds is right here. I got rid of them, but still, we, there. See how that one pushed out? You use your fingers, you know what I mean? And it becomes like a, like a strainer. Just add a little bit right now, and then we'll taste it. Okay, so we're going to make another flip. But you guys can see it. See how they're coming together? And remember, this only takes like a couple of minutes, folks. I'm going to get my small whisk. Don't, you know, I could use a bigger one, but this right here, we just want to get this all mixed up and this will be our Cajun tartar sauce. Okay, so these are almost ready. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just go ahead and put some of this on here. Now, for those of you guys, I don't think, I'm not really sure, I don't know if they toast their buns or not, but you know what, I normally do. And if you guys been following me for a minute, I want you to let me know down in the comment section below, what do I toast them with? I just want to hear what y'all think. Let's take this one out. When I say golden brown, that's what I mean, golden brown. Take that, put that there, put that over there like that, and we let that work. Ah, oh, yeah, that's done right there, folks. Now, we take this, whew, we got one chance to get it. Ah, we just put that there like that. We gotta put a piece of cheese on there. And somebody call McDonald's right now and tell them like, ooh wee, somebody on y'all bumper, folks. And we just put it on here like this. If that ain't a, a real filet of fish, I don't know what is. You guys tell me. Hey, so you saw these. I want you guys to tell me what you think, right? Hey, to cut all that talking out and all that kind of stuff, listen, I'm fit to get one. Normally, I usually taste one of these before I, you know, get down, you know, on camera. But uh, I already know what these taste like. Hey, listen, that Cajun, you know, tartar sauce is what does it. So look, I'm going to take this one. Because if you notice this one right here, check it out. You see that right there? You see that crispy edge right there? That's right. I went ahead and did it. All right. So with that being said, let me just, oh, it's going to leak. 
and do all of that because look if it ain't getting all over your face and all over your hand you ain't got nothing so i'm gonna just go ahead and hit it just like this cheers folks <laughs> i don't know why i don't make more stuff like this you know what i mean because sometimes i you know what i like overthinking you know what i mean when i start cooking some of the some of my favorite things uh, I just, I be thinking like y'all don't want to see it, but you know what? 2022, that's the year. I'm finna show it all. I'm finna, you know, pull out all the stops. Hey, with that being said, listen, this fish right here has just TKO uh, McDonald's. And I don't want to say nothing bad about McDonald's because I hear everybody say something about McDonald's like, hey, I don't eat it, uh, blah, blah, blah. But somebody eating it because listen, they on every corner. That's all I'm gonna say. And I like McDonald's too. Hey, with that being said, Try this, and you got to come back and tell me what you think about this one right here. You know, uh, I'm just curious to hear what you guys say, and then tell me how often you're going to put this in the rotation. I promise you, if you got any little kids that say they don't eat fish, and you make this for them, and they don't eat it, then something is wrong. All right, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here. I usually say all this kind of stuff, taking the mystery out of cooking and all that, but check this out. I'm going to leave y'all like this one. I'm mm, Cheers again. Peace.